a career day for Nate Biddle. 17 points and eight rebounds. Second straight career. We should have four blocks as well. Career best in points for the second straight game to start the season. Nate, what was your mindset coming into this game, knowing you were without Infale Dante? Yeah, you know, we knew we were without Infale. Um, we, I mean, we lost Jesse yesterday in practice for a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we knew as a team we had to come out. Uh, Dante got 23 rebounds that first game. We knew that there were going to be open boards. Uh, we had to have the whole team crash the boards. Um, you know, the office part is missing. Um, I think our team did a great job tonight, swinging the ball, getting the ball moving. And uh, in the second half, we got stops on defense, and that's what uh, ultimately led us to this win. How does your job change, Nate, without Dante in the lineup? Obviously, you're a great perimeter shooter. You played a little more inside. So without Dante, what changes for you? You know, without Dante, I got to play the five. Um, that means I got to be the big body inside. I got to be banging with everybody. Um, I just got to be physical in there. And, and then uh, when Dante's out, I just play as hard as I can. Um, coach told me if I ever need one, he'd give me one. And he just told me to go out, play as hard as I can, uh, leave it all on the floor. And I, I mean, that's what our whole team did tonight, left it all on the floor. It was a close game in the first half. And coming out of halftime, we put that defense on them, and, and it, it was over. You had an interview with the Pac-12 Network really early in the offseason. I thought you had some strong comments about the direction you wanted this team to go. Where do you feel like things are at right now, and, and how do you kind of feel like you are as a, as a leader at this moment in time? Yeah, you know, um, I mean, we have multiple leaders on this team. There's not one single leader. Um, I mean, every day in practice, multiple people are leading, um, and I think this team's taking a big step uh, from, our, from our scrimmages to our first game against Georgia and even tonight. Uh, every day we're continuing to build, and, I mean, we're getting 1% uh, better every day. And uh, that's something that we've been talking about the last couple of days. It's just one percent every day, and we gotta get uh, just gotta get better one percent every day. So, all right. So I coached at Montana for ten years, Ned. So coming into the game, you open with Georgia, a Southeast Conference school. You, you, nothing needs to get you ready to play that. You know it's a Southeast Conference power. What was your thought process with Montana? Did you did they surprise you at all nah, when they it's came no out? Different. It's no different. Every team is going to come out and play their best against us. We got to bring our best. Um, and I mean, our team just played the awesome defense in the second half and, and, and they got the job done. You brought it tonight, Nate. Thanks very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.